Hey guys, what's up? We are back playing some more Shadow vs. Champions Battle. And I have not played it off camera, so everything is still the same. Still in the same spot. I still would like to... Like, fight this blood craft deck, but I'm pretty sure I can't. Is this neutral? This Haven craft. Sword crafts, rune crafts. We can go talk to Red over there. I'm supposed to talk to people on the first, second, and third floors. Yo. The Shadowverse Club's gotta be around here somewhere. Come on, let's go track it down. Okay, he doesn't have anything to say. Let's actually check the machine. Sleeves and emblems. Purchase sleeves at a shadow vendor and you'll also receive an emblem featuring the same art. You can change your sleeves and emblems in your profile menu. Well, I was trying to do that before and let me. So just the card art for these cards, which we're good right now because we don't even have any money anyways. This only has the classic. We buy a pack of classic. Okay, yeah, we changed the emblem already, but I don't see where to change the sleeves. Yeah, because it's not there, so I don't know. So we'll just have to figure that out in the future. Because we have sleeves, I'm pretty sure we have the conflagration sleeves, so... Let's just have a fight. Oh, wait. The Shadowverse Club? Pretty sure there's no such thing. I searched the whole school for it, top to bottom, and never found it. We probably have to be good enough to get in. So we're about to get bodied by... Because we have this trash deck. Hold on. I will actually go and mess around with this deck to see if we have anything. Worthwhile to use in it. So, let's see what we have in here. There's actually a lot in here. 29 followers, 11 spells, no amulets, which is not great. So what in here is trash? We need something that costs 2 that isn't necessary. one damage to an enemy follower. That's okay. We have three of these guys in. Get two if you're overflowed. So that's not like necessary. So let's get rid of two of those and then get two of these wells. Because that well is good. So we have some amulets now. So transform this follower into a wind blast dragon if overflown. Is that just like another card? I'm not sure. This also costs two, and it's not in our deck, so probably should drop you and then put in this card. And this was Give two to a follower, that's okay. Mercenary, shield, how many taunts do we got in here? Is it easy to see that on the card? No, I think you actually have to look at it. I would assume we have at least some, yeah, this, this should be taunt at the very least. Okay, that was a card that you discard, get all that fanfare. This guy, unevolved fossil, is just a big beat stick, nothing really going on there. Okay, I think that's as good as we're going to get this for now. 
I don't think we have any, like, crazy nonsense going on. So you see it has the sleeve icon up there, but I don't see deck menu. There we go. So we have our cells, or our conflagration. So I can't see what it says on the bottom down there because of the overscan. Like, I, some of the game is cut off on my television, so I can't see it. So I have to look over at the recording to see it. Or just change deck design. Oh, I guess, oh, who's on the card? Uh... Grill is fine. What does it look like when she's on it? No. That's fine. It's perfect. Alright, time to get beaten up. And by get beaten up, I mean me getting beaten up by this Bloodcraft user. Excellent, I think I'm going to go all out. Shadowverse Showdown. Shadowverse Showdown is still kind of lame. But again, can you ever beat It's Time to Duel? I get to go first, which that's an oof. We have less uh, evolution points. Gain Ward of Overflowed. Uh, let's just get rid of everything. Okay, we got A2, so that's fine, but oof. We have Fafnir already for the future, so that's good. I don't know if Bloodcraft has like a bunch of low-cost cards. Okay, cool. We got away with that. We have Conflagration, which was uh, hurt both players. Okay, this is just if we have Overflow, this gets buffed, so it doesn't matter. We can just play it. Razor Claw, deal 2 damage to leader, 3 damage to an enemy. Okay, hurt herself to kill my card. We only have 3, so we're drawing nothing but high cards, even though I didn't change... How much is in it for me? I didn't add any extra high cost cards, I just replaced 2s with 2s. And all we're drawing is like, everything that's high. Deal 6 damage to an enemy. Is that worth it? Not really. We'll get Shield Angel next turn, so we're just going to have to take the hit. I'm not wasting it on just a mercenary. Isn't demonic armor lovely? <laughs> you can't have details while you're loading into the next round. Uh, deal 2 damage to an enemy follower, then restore 2 defense to yours. So can I... I have 17 health. She has 30... Did she start with less health than me? I think she did. So I can play her now. I could even evolve her if I wanted to, just to make sure that we make it through this. So I think evolve now to force her to go even harder. To invest more... Uh... Oh wait, hold on. I can attack... I, I can only attack them this turn. Giving her the chance to one-shot this and not kill them is a problem, so... I feel like I will have to just push in, even though I take three from that. Razor Claws, that's exactly what I was worried about. Wish you could look through this. Do that. Fanfare, deal 2 damage to your leader because it's a 3-3? Three, three? Well, how much did this cost that it would hurt yourself? Okay, but we have a Wavering. Fanfare, subtract 2 from the cost of a card in your hands. I can make this free. If I wanted to. Uh, I would like this to be free. Our fire leads the way. I play that, which will give me an extra empty crystal. So now we are up to seven. And turn, because I can't do anything else. Light upon the land. Taunted Knight. Slaps me. Okay, that's our HP down there. So I was talking about that yesterday, how... I didn't know what that number was. Deal two damage to an enemy follower. 
Conflagration deal 4 damage to all followers, which won't kill the tank. We can make them trade, though. We can't play Fafnir yet. Maybe we just can flag because it's not gonna cost us much to do that in the long run. This was deal two damage to enemy follow. I could no not, wait actually can we just use this actually yeah never mind we could just use this. My lord. To get that out of the way, conflag was like overdoing it. We don't have to waste blazing breath. We can save that and then we can just swing. Does this have evolution to it? No. We only have one left, so we shouldn't waste Let's it. This is only to followers. I will save the Minna. Fafnir was just basically hits, kills everything on the board. I'm not going to do that, because it might try to run itself in. Six damage. Ooh. Okay, so this is what? Oops. For everything. This is two, right? It's two. And then that's it for now. We're almost maxed out. She's down to four, but. Summon two force bats and give an all allied force bats ward. Okay, that's not a problem. Fafnir can deal with that. So I can actually play... This is going to be stronger. It's going to get ward. Uh, I can play Faf, which will kill the bats, do two damage to her. I doubt Bloodcraft will have like a kill card. So I'm going to kill her too. By kill card, I mean, like, if I evolve fast to go even further. I don't think he can swing at her, because you're not allowed to just do that just to get a free win, because that would be crazy. Night. So my two force bats deal X damage to an enemy follower. She hurt herself. It's a kill? Okay, the Bloodcraft does have kill cards, but we did draw two wards. So it sucks on the kill cards, but at least I know Bloodcraft can kill. Draw a card. Vengeance. Let's Vengeance is active, which is if you're below half. Field. Storm. Let's her just kill, or just, just get into a fight immediately. Okay, well, do I win? I just win now, right? Because she doesn't have a block. Giving them Bloodcraft cards. Victory rewards. It's got some vampires. Alucard. Storm, which we don't know what Storm does. An effect found on followers. Followers with Storm can attack the same turn they are played. Okay, so it's just haste. Fanfare, restore four defense to your leader if vengeance is active for you. So if you're at 10 health or lower, you can get four health back. Can evolve has Storm as well. Summon two bats. Doesn't give them ward though. Because that just summons two. This is the one that summons them and gives them ward. And it says, and give allied force bats ward, which I think they played that wrong. Because if you play this and then this, all those bats, all four of those bats will get ward, not just the one she summoned. Because this specifically is warded to say. I'll give Allied Forest Bats Ward. There's a two separate events. It's not summoning two Forest Bats with Ward. It's summoning two Forest Bats, then giving all Bats that you own Ward. We just got this card for free mail, Storm Dragon. Give Storm if Overflow is active, so if you're over 7. We got Mailstorm Dragon as an icon. And as a sleeve. 
100 rupees. You can now create bloodcraft. Nice. It feels better than turning things around from vengeance. Pull it off once and you'll be wanting to do it again. I hope you enjoy using Bloodcraft. You're giving you a code. Yeah, standard Bloodcraft deck. You got a card. It is Night Horde. Summon two Force Bats. Another f summoning of bats. We can just go Bat Meta. Deal X damage to an enemy follower. X equals the number of allied Force Bats in play. So you can't just make a bat swarm deck if you wanted, because that's like what, at least three cards now that summon bats. So you can just beat everybody up out here and get every single kind of deck, like just at the beginning of the game, if you, that's what you wanted to do. Basic bloodcrafts, the basic bloodcraft and standard bloodcrafts. We have forty out of forty for this basic, but standard, we do not. We need more of the Rain Devil, which is in that standard deck, and another Temptress, or a Temptress to begin with. Deal 5 damage to an enemy, restore 5 defense to your leader. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a 9 for 5-5, five, five, but it's 9 for 5-5-5-5-5. Five, 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 and five. So 5 defense, 5 attack, do 5 damage to something, and heal for 5. And this is, of course, just draw a free card if you have Vengeance activated. What about this? It's just a Temptress. And this is... Sweet Fang, Vampire. Nightmare, was this in? The other... I think we're missing some. This just has Storm, so it's going to be... Attack same turn. Oh, it has neutrals in it too. Like, it has a weird, just neutral fighter in it because just to fill the deck out. Did the standard one have any neutral? It did have her because you kind of do want to have at least some, like, stuff like that. So, only having one of this Night Horde is lame. So, Night Horde and what other is the other card that summons bats? Is that even in here? Is it this? A deal 2 damage, kill an enemy. So that summons... So I feel like you want 4 of these. Like... No matter what. We could go get another pack. Uh, well we could at least create this deck. But we can get rid of Fighter. So we need three cheap cards. What is this? This is a cheap one cost, so that should just be in there. Because it's also a Vengeance. I need to... There we go. Let's... Uh, class... Some bloodcraft, I guess. I can still add this in, so that goes in. We need one more card. Summon Bloodkin. Summon two bats, so yeah, that's what we needed as well. Wait, Night Horde is it in here? Come on, what are you doing, deck? Okay, drop one of these. Night Horde. I mean, Alucard is... Okay. So what is up at 7? We have multiple of these. This is a Beast Beast. Deal 5 to an enemy if Vengeance is active. So it's slightly... Is that slightly better than Alucard? Because Alucard gets a swing the first turn. So it is, you heal for 4 on Vengeance and you can go the same turn you go in. So I think we can drop you and then put Alucard in. Okay, all of our cards are in here. I think it's good.
Let's go with Millstone now, but I think we'll... Actually, let's go with Black. No character. I, oh, yeah, I forgot to talk about this. The game is on the eShop. They got rid of the original version, and now it's just the game Legendary version, which comes with the Battle Pass, which I haven't even seen anything that has to do with the Battle Pass. That's just weird. So, like, the game isn't as outdated as I thought. Like, I think they are still doing stuff with it. And most of the DLC is just other characters, like changing your character to be other characters, so that's what this is for. You don't have to be the the uh, silent nobody protagonist. You can be whatever character in the game you want to be. Okay, now that we got our blood crafts, I guess we can go look around. Hey, are you new to Shadowverse? Well, this is a place for beginners to come together and share what they know. After all, two heads are better than one. If you collect the deck codes of everyone here, I'll give you ten classic card packs. Good luck. Oof. Huh? Why would I be so generous? Ha! Huh. That's for me to know and you to find out. Helpful boy. Uh, well... That would be a lot of fights to go through. That's six more fights, I think, at least. Maybe even more than that, if I didn't count right. I mean, we could just spend this episode just beating everybody up. Plant enough saplings and you can make a forest. Ready to experience the might of forest craft? We will be using our... Blood crafts? It's kind of weird that we have, like, this on-the-farm music as just, like, these general music in the background where we're just out in the courtyard. That's definitely, like, we're on the farm music. Ready when you are. Good luck. This class specializes in manipulating defense to activate vengeance. Vengeance effects to be utilized once the leader's defense is standard lower. Yes, I know this. We got a two. I want that. Because it has the... Oh, no, we actually don't want this yet. And that doesn't do anything, so... Like, maybe you wanted that, but it's fine. Okay, we got a bunch of twos, because the deck does have a lot of twos in it. We're going first, though, so... Oof. We're going to do that beast. This is... Uh, fan trick of hurt. Deal two damage to you. Draw two. Deal two damage to your leader and three damage to an enemy. This is actually a card, right? Drain. An effect found on followers. Followers with drain restore defense to the, your leader equal to the amount of damage they deal to the enemy's leader or the follower they control. Followers with drain will not restore defense when attacked by an enemy. So we want to get that on the board as soon as possible. I hope that doesn't get one shot. Give plus one, plus one, and ward if at least two other cards were played this turn. Okay, so that doesn't that doesn't, doesn't matter. Ooh, this is still in the deck. We should have like looked at that and changed it out for something else. So hurt us over to you, deal two damage to us, and then three to them. So we can kill. Our sacred forest, tasty. And then we'll heal off of that. The forest abandoned me. Strike, put a fairy into your hand. When it attacks, that will put a fairy in. Hand. Uh, this is fan fairy plus two. If you have vengeance, that's nothing. That's nothing. Deal two damage, draw two. I think I'm gonna hurt myself here. <laughs> which gave us blood packed, which is deal two damage to us, draw two more. Again. I don't know how many cards you can have in your hand before you have to throw some away. Because that'll put us at 7. So I'm worried about that. So I'm, I'm going to do it again just to see what we get. Okay, so we got her, which is nice. Tasty. We're going to heal off of that. Though she does get a fairy every time she strikes, but we can just live with that. I'd rather her have to put more effort into. Okay, we can evolve. Oh, she can evolve now. 
Hit me, gains a fairy. Okay, so those are just a bus. We don't have any board wipes, which is a problem. We don't have Vengeance activated yet. We're up to five. We don't have any wards yet, so we are getting rushed down. But we can't just keep healing, though. If they refuse to attack us. I'm going to play the Mercenary. Just so we don't have to like waste any of our f Vengeance stuff. So we can keep healing. Having another body on the board is would be okay. We'll, we'll just let that go. We're probably going to lose just because this deck is very like high like skill land. deck. Oof, that's like the roughest thing that could have happened. This wasn't worth it. I Though that isn't. I'm still hungry. Okay, weird that they got rid of all their cards for me. Thanks, I guess. Blood Pact. That is. The same thing, draw two. Trip to six. Storm can attack the same time it comes out. Let's defile the battlefield. I love the chaos. We'll just try to punch through this. Trent. Get to two if at least two other cards are played. Fairy is just like a one one. That does nothing. So we're almost in Vengeance, but we've kind of been keeping ourselves alive. So I'm too bad, still two damage for each bat. We haven't got any of our, like, light bat summons. So two damage. I can swing at her. I love the chaos! My lord. What happens if you get evolved? Nothing. So I'm holding out. So I guess I can summon two bats and do two damage to that because it will be good. So we can deal two damage to ourselves and then draw to you, which I think is fine. We'll have eight cards in our hand, so I don't think that's actually good. Oh, and turn with all this mana. They have seven, which is rough, so they trade like I wanted. Do what damage to a random enemy follower? Do this two times. Oof. Literally the exact cards you needed to go against this kind of deck. A couple fairies. We still aren't in fanfare area. Summon bats, give them wards, so oof. On getting our bats killed. So we can go. We can do this, which will put us in. Fanfare. Or. Not fanfare. It will put us in Vengeance now. Can't play him this turn now. Draw a card. Defense is active. I guess we could just pull it here now, even though it kind of like goes against a synergy. Joy and grief bind me. She evolves into nothing. She just gets stronger, which we kind of need to. Actually, we'll do that now. Just to get this off the board. And then we'll end our turn. So we're at our 10 health, but we want to be at 10 health. Forced to trade there. Put two fairies in your hand, which are just 1-1s. One what a fairy. Put a fairy into your hand when it dies. Trent. Gain 2-2 two two if she played two other cards. Don't they have the kill card in my hand? Deal 2 damage and 3 damage. I swear I had the 
Okay, destroy an enemy follower. Deal 2 damage to your leader, destroy a follower. For 4. Deal 2 damage to your leader, we don't need that. Okay, then... We could play her, evolve her, and then kill something and then heal. Like, we have more card advantage than she does, because she has a bunch of 1-1s one in her hand because he keeps summoning the fairies there, so... She actually doesn't have that much of good stuff there. I could play this and waste my last evolve just to kill one of them, then heal me back to 10 just to keep us alive, but I think I'll just play some draw. Which it was... Gain Storm if Vengeance is active, so she can swing the turn she gets played. Let's play this just so you can have a 4-2. And then we're good. I she can just half hit her, and we'll end our turn. If she doesn't kill hey, that, hey. I will kill her. Get plus plus one to all ally followers if at least two other cards are played. So that trades. Six, seven, eight. She almost had enough to probably kill me. So this is rough, because we have like so little hell with all this on the board. We could play this, but they still have all those other cars in the field. We'd only be able to play three. We're at eight right now. So that's pretty low. Then we have the two damage to us to kill something. Don't want to play that at all. We just play here just to have a, another body. So I'm gonna trade. Do humid for you. Wrong formula. There's five damage up right now. I can devour your dream. end on that, but if she has another one of those buffs, she could kill me. What a shame. May the forest be a Put two fairies in your hand, so she has two 1-1s one in her hand now. Hey, another 1-1. One, one. Another 1-1. One, one. Oh no, that gives everyone plus 2, which is exactly what I was worried about. But, if I evolve, will I just win? This has Storm on it, so we could Storm for the game. I think we'll play this. Let's defile the battlefield. I love the chaos. Yeah, I think I can just win here just by rushing her down. Oh, wow. You're good. So yeah, green deck as usual, just flooding. Well, not necessarily supposed to be flooding. Green is supposed to be like ramping, and she was ramping there at the end. Evolve, put two fairies in your hand, and change your cost to zero, so two free 1-1s. One Demonic Storm. Deal three damage to all allies and enemies, that's okay, we got three of those. Oh, there's like actual flavor text. Got the emblem for that. And the sleeves. Oopies. Can I create forest crafts? Using a whole bunch of cards to pull off combos is what makes forest crafts strong. If you like the sound of that, why not try it out for yourself? Got the code for the deck. 
You got a card. Excessive cards will be exchanged for rupees. Okay, I guess we have already had a bunch of those. Okay, that's two down. Let's go look at our jack real quick. We need to modify this. We could make the uh, basic green deck as well. Okay, so mercenary. You are out of here. I didn't realize you were in here. Did not put the well in here. I didn't put the well in here like a dummy. Okay, that's good. So we can just look at all of our cards that are relevant. Uh, I would like a... What was this? Destroy an enemy follower or amulet. Just a straight kill. Which is... Nice. I would actually like to keep two of those. This was a good card. This... Overly exaggerated... Influencer. That's not what I meant. Overly enthusiastic is what I meant to say. Influencer. I wish I had more of these. So we could actually have some nice ones. Blood Pact was hurt yourself for damage, right? Deal two to draw two. No, this is deal two to draw two, which was being okay to try to get us down to what we needed to be. I think we could drop one now, just so we can get this kill. That was the one I think you need to discard your hand to get more power. Which is risky when you can get killed. Does this have ward on it? Okay, this naturally has ward. This is a three. I would actually would have exchanged that for that. You are... Do two damage to your leader. Okay, no. We can drop you for a random tank. Much better than the Drifter. Like, Drifter does nothing. I would like the third well, but I think we can just live with that. So I think this is better than what we had. But we can go and do the basic force craft as well. The standard and basic. Of course, we can always make it the basic, yes. I'll just leave it as is, because I don't really feel like messing around with that. The blood craft is still set. Actually, hold on. Who do we have in here? Can't really see much with that. Alucard in the deck. Her, even though we the Temptress, even though we don't have like much of it. This is like one card we're like never going to use it. Oh, you can actually ev evolve them too. See what their evolved forms look like. We'd rather have that up. Alucard looks completely different. I think I'm actually going to stay with that. So what, 544 coins? We could go get some packs or a card that we need. Okay, this is the only Bloodcraft card in here. Storm Fanfare deal 2 damage to yourself. So it's a wolf that can strike off the bat. Does this have a voice or is it just going to growl? It's just going to growl. Cute fairy. Put two fairies in your hand. This is like a three of, like no matter what. We could get some packs. Or a pack. Just to try to see if we can hit more cards that we need. I'll buy one. Okay, Artist Nun.
Runeblade Summer, we get a silver there. Another server, Luminous Knight. Divine Blue Birdsong. Temple Defender. We have like three silvers. Four silvers, Bell Ringer, Angel, Frey Bringer, and a Cruel Priestess. So we didn't get a gold, but we got like five silvers out of that. Which is crazy. Uh, are these all the same, like, set, too? Because they're all, like, nuns and, like, knights. Fanfare. Spell boost. Gain plus one, plus one if you're spell boosted. Which is an effect mostly found on followers and spells. Cards with spell boost have their effects modified each time you play a spell while they are in your hand. Some effects will lower the cost of the cards, raise its damage, or otherwise strengthen. So yeah, you spell, a, you play a spell, and every time you play a spell, you get plus one, plus one on that. All other allied followers get plus one attack until the end of the turn. That's pretty meh. Ward, during your opponent's turn, subtract one from the damage taken by this follower. Okay, so they have some armor, and you can evolve them. To just get a little bit more, because they are pretty weak. This is three for two, two, but they only take one. They take one less damage from all damage. So that's pretty okay. Last words, draw a card. So this is a tank. Can't do any damage, but it draws when it dies. And then this, strip back two from the countdown of an allied amulet. Okay. No bloodcraft stuff with that, but that's okay. Okay, so those two are gone, so we're just going to systematically go down the line here. You're looking for the Shadowverse Club, do you... we have one of those? Keep playing cards without any waste, Shadowcraft is the sustainable solution. Here I go, I'm going to give it all, all I got, Shadowverse Showdown. Can you say, like, Into the Shadowverse, or, like, something like that? Okay, like the third time that I've gone first. Uh, we'll keep those two, even though we would like a one, but we only have one card that costs one in our deck. We're skipping our turn. Do three damage to us, do three damage to something else. Oh, we actually got our one cost. So this doesn't really matter too much. Like, I like to just wait, but I guess wasting our... I can devour your dreams. Like, not hitting anything out there does so hurt us. Lonely. Bane, is that, like, death touch? I'm just taking a guess and assuming that means death touch. An effect found on followers. Followers with Bane will destroy a follower that they have dealt damage to regardless if that follower is remaining defense. Yeah. Death touch. Which means... Razor Claw, because I don't want it just going nuts on me. We're n I'm not going to play that other card. We'll save it. Gain one Chateau. I don't know what a Shadow is, but they do have a meter over there, I see. On the right, they have two Shadow, I'm assuming. Fanfare deals damage to your leader. Uh, we can... we're actually fine with that, I think. We'll start getting our stacks going. This doesn't do anything else, but I guess we would like to... I'm just gonna go there, because I don't know what this deck does. We still have one energy, which we will not use. We're waiting until we're in vengeance for that. We can, they can evolve now. Come out, come out wherever you are. Necromancy for some of the zombie. This was summon two bats. Yes, yeah, summon two bats. We'll save that for later. This is just kill. We don't want to use that now. An effect found on followers spells and M is cards with necromancy consume a number of shadows equal to the number 
written after the necromancy keywords in order to activate their effect. Necromancy effects will not activate if you do not possess enough shadows. Okay, so on play, it would have summoned a zombie if she had four shadows. Let's kill. That's just a kill as well. So you know what? Let's just kill. I love the feel of the earth. More heads, more heads. We still have three, but we don't really want to waste these yet. So we'll actually end with three mana left. Same thing. They have four shadow now. Deal two dam deal two damage to the enemy follow enemy leader on death. Yeah, when they die they'll hurt me for two. Which that's fine. This is a card. So we can just play this one. I think I'll force them to rush me down. Because we can kill whatever we want to kill. Okay, I took two, because it died. Summon the zombie. Take two, thank you, I'm in vengeance now. So, what can we do? We have seven. Play one, plus one, plus one. We can destroy. Deal two damage to your leader and destroy an enemy. I, mean, I can play this, I guess. Just to play it safe. We can summon two bats, too, if we wanted. So we'll play this just to get the extra 1-1. One, one. And then we'll evolve our tank. To be even stronger. To make it harder to kill. They have 8 damage on the board, which isn't enough to kill me. I don't know if any of these are even matter to kill. Yeah, if, doesn't matter what they do, they're not going to get any buffs, so I'm going to swing here. She has to kill everything I have, otherwise she loses next turn. And she has to punch through my ward to kill me in one turn. Oh Christ, there it is. Kill. Well, she did it. She had a kill card, but of course, I'm assuming this is like a black deck, so of course we would be able to do that. They have Drain on you, so you go out. I'm actually just going to play the bats now. She only has three cards, she's going to have four cards. You're going to evolve for three. I would like to... see... This. This costs five. She she has enough souls too, so she can kill a follower and some of the zombie, and still have three mana left. And we need to see what a zombie actually entails for defenses. It's just a two-two. I'll save my of last evolve. Watch me, miss. Playable Necromancer, which can't do anything unless it get evolved. Uh, is that game? Just give me game. Tasty. Cause I'll heal, and then I'll hit you with a bat. Wow, you're good. I guess they didn't have anything. Skull Cradle Widow. Last words draw. Last words draw. Fanfare Necromancy 6. Gain plus 2 plus 2. Metal Gargoyle. Gain plus 1 plus 0. And Ward if Vengeance is activated. Okay, this is a 3 cost. 2 3. That becomes a 3 3 with Ward if you have Vengeance. So we can use this. In our deck, their place of three. Metal Gargoyle icon and sleeve. 100 rupee. We now can use black decks. Gain shadows and perform necromancy. It feels so good to play without wasting cards. Feel free to try it out for yourself. 
standard Shadowcraft deck. Another deadly set of deadly widows. So we'll go ahead and throw that on as well. Cause I actually black decks are probably like my favorite kind of deck in Magic the Gathering. Uh, I'm not even gonna like play with that right now. We'll just make it. But this we need to actually edit. So where's our three? So we added this because we needed the ward. We can drop another one of you and add that new Bloodcraft level 3 Gargoyle. And then I think that's good. For now. Okay, next it is orange. You are a Dragoncraft. Don't know anything about the Shadow of Verse Club, but if you want to know about Alice and Dragoncraft, I can tell you a thing or two. When a uh, variant Lee with powerful cards. Are you ready to get something? Hold on, I was reading that. Wind Veritantly with powerful cards, are you ready to get hooked, tooth, and claw by the awesomeness that is Dragoncraft? Great, I was hoping you'd say that. Then there's no time to waste. Shadow Rush Showdown. Go second. Let's have a good match. Gone, gone, gone. Oof. Kind of not good. Okay, Pawn is getting the deal first now. So we get to have three crystals plus two draw here. But of course, we got really messed over with that draw. My dragon and I are one. Plus two if you have overflow, which is not ready for that yet. We still can't play anything. But taking damage is what we want. So it's fine. This was just summon two bats, right? Which is kind of like not great. This is of course a plus one in vengeance if you're dead. This is just such damage to us. I actually rather do this. To get us closer to vengeance. Gain an empty play point, draw a card if you're overflowed, deal 2 damage to an enemy follower, deal 2 damage to an enemy follower. So he wasted all of its damage. So this like is this like a fire deck? Like it's rush down fire, do as much damage as possible, as fast as possible. Like burn out this but you're gonna burn out as fast as possible. Uh we don't need that. Don't need the bats. Don't need that yet. This is just a card we can play, so. We could just do that. You can play Angelic Sword next turn if you wanted to. I could hurt myself go into Vengeance as well now too. Blood Pact is two damage to us. I draw a card, I'm gonna play her though. But this isn't I would not expect any kill cards to be in this deck, so I'm not even going to assume they can do that. Like, oh shoot, I forgot to attack with her. Or actually, no, I just played her. I just got plus four, or plus two because of overflow. I can empty points. So what it dies. Okay, we are at 12, so we need to hurt ourselves. Which we do that by attacking or. Okay, let's hurt ourselves to kill. Now we have Vengeance activated, so we can play you for now. Become part of me, shining hope. Then we can enter in there. Deal one damage to your follower. Gain two. When you attack. 
Okay, this was... Go flood them to an enemy if you have Vengeance activated. Will, lucky for us, that was the right time to draw that. We just top deck that. We just harder the cards that super hard. Become part of me. Nope. Shining hope. We almost have game here. One off of game. I could have evolved actually for game. That was dumb. But that's fine. We'll give him one more turn to try to win. He trades with the ward. This will have ward because of Vin uh, Overflow, but that is irrelevant now because we basically won. This rage empowers me, cowardly creatures. Oh, that voice actor, I know her. Oh, let's just play the gargoyle just for the sake of it. So we have a 3 3 ward just in case some shenanigans happen. I don't think. I don't think this game has hand traps in it, so I doubt to see it. So yeah, he just got bodied. Pretty sure that was like very quick to go through. Good game. Some dragon crest stuff. I'll just skip through this. Unless I see something interesting. That wraith actually looks cool. I should have looked at that. Up your play points and lay into your opponent with horde after horde. The thrills of Dragoncraft can't be beat. Here, give it a go for yourself. Dragon. Okay, next, since we're trying to just burn through them as fast as possible. So I think there's three more? Like, we're about to hit an hour of gameplay. So we have water here. Okay, this deck is going to be annoying. Shadow Club, no idea, sorry, why don't you ask the kid next to me? He's an honest and true as a knight from the Swordcraft class and has heaps of friends too. We'll do that in a second. Accumulate wisdom to reach ever greater heights. I'll teach you everything you need to know about Runecraft. So this fight's gonna suck. If this is a water deck like it is in Magic the Gathering, this is gonna suck. It's gonna like negate me from doing stuff. It's gonna bounce my cards. I'm just not gonna be allowed to play the game. Thankfully, I mean, this is like the beginning of the game, so we don't have to worry about, that. worry about that, but I assume they wouldn't go too hard on me, but... Like, if this is like a true blue fashion deck, we are going to be not allowed to play the game at all. We're going second. Let's have a good match. Okay, we have Razor Claw. I don't know if I want to get rid of this. I guess I will. Okay, we got nothing but twos. That's good. They didn't play anything. Which is good. We got more twos. Pass turn. We actually have a card we can play. Do more damage to the enemy. Draw one. So blue decks are all about control. Let's have a sweet time. Both players draw a card. Okay. Thank you, I guess. This was what? I hate not being able to look at anything when the turn is starting. Draw a card if Vengeance is activated. So actually, I'm going to play well. And hope for the best. Hope that she can survive through that. Tasty. But I'm not going to do that. So we're back up to 20. This might be a actually just get buff round. Win last two damage, zero two damage, great. So that means we're not going to get to live through this. I'm still hungry. Heal, but we need to heal. So now our well, destiny did nothing because they had exactly what they needed to stop us. Because again, this is a blue deck, so it's all about freaking control. I shall protect you. And I'm going to end with that. Even though they can kill. I should have evolved. That has spell boost on it. Put a random spell with spell boost from your deck into your hand. Strike spell boost's card in your hand. Okay, again, our card's dead. I have to pray to God they don't have an evolve or have a bounce card. By bounce, I mean send a card back to my hand. Shining hope. And I'll just get this out of the way now. My time has come. 
You have so many cards in their hand. Deal three damage to an enemy follower. Oof, again, the freaking control. I literally am not allowed to use my freaking amulet because they always have the perfect control to counter whatever I'm doing. And none of my cards are going to get any vengeance because I'm not getting any damage. Okay, this is just a card, so we can just play that. Let's just get this out of here. her because she doesn't have any special effects. But it wouldn't be a waste to play her. Snow Summon two snowmen. Okay, good. We get a boost on her. Got to live through that. So this was the X damage dependent on the bats. We can play this to hurt ourselves to get us closer. Because we're at 18, we're not nowhere near where we need to be. I don't want to waste any of the fanfare stuff. Ah, I can play both of these. I'm not going to play her because she doesn't have. Or stop activity. Let's play this and then kill one of the snowmen. I feel slushy. Evolving this will deal two damage to an enemy follower, then restore two damage defense to us, which is not what we want to do yet. I am going to hope that he doesn't do anything nuts with that snowman. Subtract one cause, destroy, well, des destruction on a blue deck? Shadowverse, hello? No, you do not give sh blue decks the ability to destroy. That's not okay. They already have enough control as is, they also get to destroy in this deck, in this game. Do two, draw two. Uh, we're at, what, 16? So let's just uh, deal to draw to you. Okay, I'll play that actually. I'll evolve as well, just to bring up the pressure, but you know they're probably gonna bounce me. My lord. Oof, they just had the kill card. That's not okay, Shadowverse. You can't give blue decks the ability to kill. Look at all what they can do. They s summon a bunch of stuff. They can deal do. They can deal damage. They can destroy. I'm still waiting for those bounces. They can draw like eight billion cards. Like they have everything in the book. They're only supposed to have control, but not that kind of control. That should be strictly left to black decks, not blue. She can start off. So what are these? Do. They didn't do anything, they're just two twos. Uh, let's see. We don't want any of these hard kills like that. We're at 14, not quite enough, so let's actually hurt ourselves a bit more. Okay, we have two of her, so let's just actually play one. Let's defile the battlefield! I love the chaos! Go end there. Keeping the pressure on him. Can he do 12 damage to me in one turn? Who knows? This is control blue. Fire embrace. Destroy an enemy. That was basically free, by the way. That kill card he just used. Because of this spell boost nonsense. Okay, now Temptress. What does she do? Now that we're in thing. Fan for deal 5 damage to an enemy. Restore 5 defense to you. So we don't want to use it yet. We can. But... We kind of have to use it now. So I'm going to use it here, I guess, just to soften. So we get the heal off of that. Then I feel like I should evolve. I don't know if I should attack the lesser ones, though. Let us revel. I'm not gonna... Oh, I can't. 
because she's in the way. So oof, I probably should have just killed one of the lesser ones then. Let us I guess I just have to. So I wasted that. Oh, but that's fine. Let me guess. Kill again. Summon a clay golem. Get one damage. Draw a card. Okay. So luckily, soon. I juice that. What is... Subtract one cost from this card, so just a 7-7 seven, seven because of all the spells that he used, just out of nowhere. So I don't know if we can come back from this. I knew this would be rough, but this is like nuts. Actually, could... what is your... Storm 5? Could I win with this? Oh, I can't because... Oof, that kind of just cost me, I think. Do 2 damage, destroy. Okay. Thankfully, we didn't cost us so too much by doing that. So we can't evolve anymore. He still has both of his evolves. So four cards, but who knows what he has left in his hand. Conjure two golems, so two more golems. Deal two damage to an enemy follower. So oof, I cannot like out keep out doing him. Gain storm of vengeance. Let's see, let's do. Draw a card if you have vengeance. Destroy somebody. That's five, so I can't play that and something else. So I can kill this. I'm shocked. Then I can play this. Because I need to, otherwise, I lose. Then I get trade. Again, otherwise I lose. Just a free 7-7. Seven, seven. Draw one. We take two more here. I don't really have much else left I can do to win here. What is actually what is this? Abyss Beast. You'll fight damage to an enemy follower if Vengeance is activated. So yeah, I could do that, but it wouldn't help. She can rush, but it's not going to do much for us with that 7-7 seven, seven out. And play this to try to get something to help us. This will drain. Which won't be enough to really save us. This is the only thing we can put out now. Yeah, we basically just lose here because they had control the whole time. They basically just had free 7-7s seven and free kill cards the whole game. So it's like, what are you supposed to do against that? They still have 13 cards in the deck too, I think. I wasted all my evolves trying to do this stuff, but they just had a free kill card every time I played a really strong card. Let's defile the battlefield. So we really can't do anything else here. All of our wards got destroyed instantly. I probably should have swung at him before, but... We at least got close. I mean, in turn, just let him kill me. Blue decks doing what blue do. Even in this game, basically acting the same way they would in Magic. Except it's even worse. A free kill card? Like, how is that fair? Like, being able to kill should be specifically left to black decks. Blue should not get kills, and they should not be free off a of spell boost. Ready when you are. Let's have a good match. 
care with this out too much. What are these? We might. I don't know if we need to keep those. I'm keeping her just so I have it ready. We got a two anyways. This is our drainer. So I don't know if those are like permanently. Uh, okay, let's play that, that and train. Okay, we have Razor Claw, which we don't need to use right now. Oops, there's a moat? What the heck? Tasty. I don't know what that was. I still think we can play this turn. Do we have this thing again? Which what was this? Fan Fable Flare Straw 1, which is good. We have this already, but it's probably just gonna kill it. I'm going to just play that. For now. I'm not gonna let that trade get in bites off. He can evolve now, which is terrible. Put a random spell with spell boost from your deck into your hand, straight. So it's going to do extra damage when it attacks. So loose cards in your hand, which is not good. We need that gone. I think I'm going to waste this turn just to stop that from happening. Because the spell boost just like is not okay. Tasty. This one's mine. Do we have packs? I guess I'll play packs. Lightning storm. Goes damage to an enemy. I'm still hungry. We could send her out and trade, like, immediately. Which I will do. Let's defile the battlefield! I love the chaos! I'm shocked! Come on, come oh, it looks like he has too many cards in his hand, because it says... It's red. So, we both drew one. Draw a card, spell boost a card in your hand two times, which is not good. Alu card, what was your deal? Sword for defense to your leader if vengeance is activated, so we don't need that yet. Let's just keep rushing. We gotta rush him down. I'm not even gonna swing on this. We have lethal unless he kills both of these cards. And he caught one. Okay, we don't have any more for her right now. Let's actually put a well down. This card doesn't do anything. Uh, it does do something. Okay, this is the one that doesn't do anything. We can use that. Then we're going to keep rushing down because nothing else we can do against a deck like this. We have to just win. As fast as possible. Oof. Top deck to board. Summon three snowmen. Which that is fine. I think we still have game because... We can hurt ourselves to kill that. And then kill... Which I should have done from the get-go. But I don't know if I even had the opportunity to do that in the last match because... He just literally controlled everything as this as blue is supposed to do. Good game. All these cards. So two more fights to go. Oh, curse band vampire. Well, you have this, right? Game plus one, one plus one plus one if you have vengeance. Yeah, we actually needed more of those because that's a one cost. I'm gonna actually switch those sleeves too. 
We still have two more fights to go, even though it's like we've been going for like an hour and 15. Stack your spell boosts and win with Bewitching Flare. Runecraft is such an exciting class. Here you go. I really hope you try it out. Sorcery Cash. Spell boost the card in your hand two times. Draw a card. I actually do really like blue, but that it also is like one of the most hated colors in like magic, and I guess it acts the same way here, so you could say in uh, Shadowverse as well. Oh wait, the wrong thing. This. So we need more of her. So what do we get rid of? We actually have three of these? I've only ever played like it once. I didn't even realize I had three of them. You are... I can drop one... of you... so we can get one more of you. And yeah, that's good. What was your deal? Fanfare deal one damage to both leaders. Okay. Nothing too crazy there. Again, nothing seems like I need it. Actually, I think we're good there. What we needed to do was. change the card art. I mean, sleeves. We want her. Okay, now we need to fight this guy. Huh? Do I know about the Shadowverse Club? Hmm, sorry, never heard of it. Wish I could help. Be more help. Okay, but the guy next to me might know something. He's incredible. He's so smart. He's a runecraft master. They're just literally saying the same thing about each other. The friendship between an officer and their commander is the secret to swordscraft strength. I'll prove that to you and now. So this is like a white deck, I'm assuming. Just give me a second. Okay, let's go. So we still had one more fight after this. The match very good, then without further ado, a Shadowverse Showdown. We're gonna have to fight this find the Shadowverse Club in the next episode. We're going second. That's good, and we get three crystals plus two cards. I'm going to keep that uh, shield maiden, shield angel. Okay, then draw one. We're going to skip a turn. Don't call me short. The Konochi. Konochi trainee. Nice. She has stealth. Is that what that is? Ambush. An effect found on followers. Followers with ambush cannot be targeted by the attacks or abilities of followers. That's exactly what I thought it was. It's stealth. Uh, we can we can't attack it because it does not. Oh, I didn't even realize this can even hit. It's just, it says enemy. Okay, it says enemy. That means you can attack them directly. That's good to know. We're gonna wait our turn. We can't do anything because it has ambush. Forge weaponry. Give so two two, two two to an ambush card. Oof, that sucks. We still can't target it so. It's just going to kill our ward, so we might as well not even waste our time with that. I'm just going to play this and then go. Do white decks normally have like stealth? Can evolve. 
Floral Fencer. Doesn't do anything unless it gets evolved. I'm trying to flee this. Go force them to trade. Unless they have a way to kill that they shouldn't. This is a white deck. Oh, they have their own ward. Summon a heavy knight. See, I don't know if we have what we need for this. So, play her. Then I'm going to boost her. She has six. If I boost her, she'll have enough to survive everyone hitting her. And so this is going to hit me anyways, I'm going to just hit it now. What one with Storm, so that's exactly the amount they needed to kill me. So that's four mana. So every, if that's going to die, he's going to hit me for one damage. Summon Heavy Knight. He's almost out of cards. You're hemorrhaging cards here. And I want to be this low. Okay, six. We don't have our good card. You are vengeance. Let's just kill somebody. Uh, this hurts us, which you don't really want to do that. I'll play that, I guess. Can't do anything else. So we'd either waste her fanfare on vengeance. Or... I mean, they don't have that much damage, so... I could probably do this. Because I don't think they can kill me unless they have one more of this guy. Plus a card that gives all your cards plus one plus one. Because then they would have enough to kill me, I think. Actually, they still wouldn't even have enough even with that, so I think we're fine. Okay, Knight, she has Ward. They're gonna go for the trade, it seems. Just so that my well doesn't get activated. You. Deal 5 if. Uh, you know what? Let's just play that just to get the Ward out of the way. There's no way. Like, he's, like, bled out. Like, he has nothing left he can do. But I mean, he has two cards here, but what is he gonna do? You can summon like a, some amazing angel. Summon Orihime. I would like to see this, thank you. Summon Orihime's bodyguard until your area is full. And the area can hold five cards, so now I know how many cards you can have, it's only five. In magic you can have as many cards as you want. And Orihime's bodyguard is just nothing. They're, they're, they don't even have wards, they're supposed to be bodyguards, but they don't have ward on them, like hello. So we can't have two actual storm cards here. Which lets us trade here and then we can just get rid of the rest of these. So I don't feel like I need a rush face here. This was nothing unless it doesn't evolve. But my will abide. It's gonna keep getting boosted. So now we can do this. And we're gonna evolve that. I don't think I need to play any of the other stuff, so we're just going to swing at face because they have no choice but to punch through her... What does this do? It doesn't do anything, we can actually just play that. Oh, I still have one more attack. Oh, actually, I can just force a trade. We could probably win unless he summons something crazy, just a 1-1, one, one, summon a knight, so another 1-1, one, one, or 1-2. One, Ooh, 4, 6, 8, plus 1, plus 1 to all other followers, which is what I was talking about earlier, if you could play that, but too little too late. Because I believe we have game, because he didn't have any ward up. Shining hope. This should finish it. You're tougher than you look. Good game. 
Ooh, we got another fencer. You know, that's my favorite. And it's not actually my favorite, I just think it's a cheap card. Can you use yellow decks now? When officer and commander join forces, the possibilities are limitless. Here, take this now. You now will to our sword craft wielder. The deck. And a mage leader. And then we just have you, which I don't know what you are. Your haven craft. So maybe that wasn't a uh, white deck. Because this is angels, I'm assuming. I'm going to assume. But white decks usually are like soldiers and stuff and angels. Because there's only, what, like five elements in uh, magic, fire, water, grass, black, and white. So red, blue, green, black, white. And this has eight, at least. Assuming neutral's not one, because neutral would be nine. I don't remember how many it has. So it's kind of sl split some of those up into separate parts. This is the first time of hearing any Shadowverse Club, huh? Oh, you don't know if there actually is one out yet? Don't worry, just keep searching. If you look hard enough, I'll bet you'll find it. Sloan City wins the day. Havencraft faithfully makes every game fun. Let's proceed at a comfortable pace. So, if this is, like, angelic stuff, I'm assuming there's going to be a lot of healing involved. A lot of flying, but I don't think flying is a mechanic in this game. We're going second so we get the three crystals plus two draw. Let's have a good match. I'm actually fine with this. Sip a turn. So this is Vengeance Fanfare, this is Kill. Ward, that is, wow, Ward right off the bat. We have the two, three damage, right, so... My king. We can have a little bit of control May here. Subtract one from the countdown of, of an allied amulet. This was Fanfare plus one plus one, if you have Vengeance. I don't know if I should be doing this, but I would like to keep hurting myself at the expense of him losing cards, so that's good. Actually, we can just play this. Having 1-1 one, one doesn't matter too much. Your evil deeds end now. So, you please do nothing. Evolve Banished an enemy follower with 3 defense or less. Okay, so you can just get rid of a card. Two that's Ward. Gargoyle and shoot, so we need to keep hurting ourselves a little more. put a ward out. She can take a hit. I will not buff her. He'll probably be able to buff that priest. Banish, wow. Just a flat banishment, which is basically the same thing as killing. Uh, how much did that cost him? That was a five cost. To banish. So we could do that again if I play this card. So I'm going to not do that. Except I will do that. And hope for the best. I'll even evolve because we get three because we went second. So if he doesn't banish us, he has to kill his priest. And I'm not even going to give him the chance to not get his priest killed. So. Hey priest, you can't see that. Countdown five. Subtract one. Okay, well, we couldn't see what that was. Playing too many cards, so we have to go over everything it's doing later. It turned into a 4 5 thing, so I don't know all of what happened there. Holy Sentinel. Uh, countdown 5, which countdown. An effect found mostly on ambulance. A number will be displayed on an amulet with countdown. When it comes into play, the number will decrease by one at the beginning of your turn. The amulet will be destroyed when the number reaches zero. So fanfare in effect found blah blah blah. Subtract one from this ambulance countdown for each enemy follower and amulet in play. Last word, summon a guardian fox. So when this ambulance countdown hits zero, it dies, then summoning a guardian fox. Which is what happened there. Subtract two from countdown, draw a card. 
Then turn into Fox. Okay, that's all that happens. Which Guardian Fox is just a 4-5 with Ward. Which is basically the same thing as we have here. Do we have a kill? Is this a kill? Yes, it is a kill, so get out of my way. I'm not going to play this because I want the vengeance. We can rush next turn. Can't be targeted by enemy... It's untargetable. Enemy effects. That doesn't mean it can't be rushed, rushed down. Okay, that's going to turn into a fox. Oh, we don't have vengeance yet. She is the drainer. I can't target that with effects, so we can rush it down with her. Oh, we have ward. Uh, that's fine. My king, shining hope. Malice will never die. Okay, so she's gonna get a, or he's gonna get a Kitsune soon. Subtract one from countdown. Banish an enemy with three or less. Forget you. So I can kill that at the expense of my health. I can't do anything about that. So let's just kill her. I can see the path That's getting us heaven. closer. Drain. Let's get her up, I guess. Time. I don't want to play these because they have uh, the vengeance. Mechanics are just going to swing. And she has her... Oh, it's transformed into something else. Just a six. Can you stop banishing my cards? Okay, I don't have a kill, I don't think. Storm if you have vengeance. Two damage for how many bats you have. Six six. Like, that's pretty brutal. So I get that down to four. I could just force and evolve here and kill him. This rage empowers me. I'm only getting started. Even though we could have done this, just wait until we had vengeance. But creatures. let's just get it done. Tasty. We'll heal from that. Ward, oof. Restore five defenses to an ally, which is himself. Okay, we have Rush down. Still can't use them effectively. She can get through the ward. And let's just... Since she has nothing else, I'm just going to keep swinging through this. If I evolve this, she'll live through... You're trying to kill it, unless he just draws a banish just in. So intoxicating. And we'll end. I'm not gonna play those until I have vengeance. Okay, one for my dream. A priest who doesn't do anything. I have seven damage on the board. Which isn't gonna be enough to win this. Second, this doesn't do anything, so we need to play that. So I'm not going to swing at that. I'm going to force him to defend himself, because he's down to 1 HP. He has to wipe my board or kill me next turn. Which I feel like... Okay, he just drew a priest, so ooh for him. But that doesn't matter, because he will die to a single bat. We even play her. Blood pain waken me. Just play everything. Oh, we're already up to five here. Have your back. You're tougher than you look. Good game. Okay. Can't be targeted by enemy attacks. That's that card. Put a random countdown amulet from your deck in your hand. Whenever you play an amulet, subtract one from. The cost of this card in your hand destroy all allied ambulance amulets. 
Ooh, nice. More Queen Vampire. Some two bats. Kind of need those. I feel like I've almost never seen this card, so it must not have that many of it. I'm assuming I have all decks now. The careful timing countdown requires can uh, the careful timing countdown requires can be quite difficult, but when it works, it is incredibly powerful. Try using it for yourself if you like. There we go, we got the Havencraft deck. We also have another Prism Priestess. Your tree achieved a new trophy. Greenhorn. Won five matches, just getting by. Won three matches or less. I'm assuming that was for getting like all the. Uh, What you call it? All the decks unlocked. So we do have them all unlocked now. Okay, she's a six cost card. Okay, we only have one of her in there. And you were deal five damage to an enemy if vengeance is up. So let's drop you and add second one of you. And then let's go talk to Dude. You wouldn't even know that you would need to do this. You've beaten everyone in the courtyard, haven't you? Incredible, absolutely astonishing. Here you are, as promised. Ten classic packs. I hope you're enjoying playing Shuttleverse. It makes my day to know that you've gotten into it. One of my relatives is a MC from the Shuttleverse National Championship. Uh, MC, sorry. He's an MC. I've never seen MC written out before. That's why I'm trying to help it gain popularity by doing things like this. If you end up making it to Nationals, you might just get to meet my relative. I hope you enjoy his commentary. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen the word MC written out before. Oh, hey. I didn't see this before. Rupees, just... Oh, and a card. A cute cutie here as well. Getting 1-1 one, one if an allied commander is on is in play. Snippy Gardener. Not too bad, it's 3-2, three, three, but it becomes a 4-3 if you have a commander out. Oh, we got her card, our sleeves too, and her icon. Can I go out this way? No. There's a wall here, but it feels like I could go out there. That is a huge freaking field, by the way. Like, who has a freaking, uh, like, field this big? Like, this, like, is this bigger than a football field? Why is that so huge? I've never seen a field this massive before. Not even in, like, anime. And then, to end the video off, we'll be opening up these packs. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Actually, how do we open the packs up? At that... Up here. You open it all at the same time. Confirm. To an auto reveal. Okay, we got. Is that a lot of silvers? We got like six out of eight silvers. Commence experiment, Noble Fangs, Tom Lin, Elf Wanderer, Midnight Vampire, which might be for our deck. Ooh, gains plus one to allied. Vampire, a force bat. So yeah, there's really like a hard bat deck you can go with. Force Archelion. Soul Conversion. Destroy an ally to follow or draw two. That's not terrible. We don't have to 
MPS Resurrection, Fairy Circle, Execution again, Tenacious Ghost, uh, Menu, which we got earlier, Elementary Alchemy, Raging Giants, and Adulahan. Cool, Adulahan. Has no effect, but when you evolve it, you get four shadows for free. Shy Knight Maiden, Soul Eater, Rock, Sacred Plea, ooh, Dark Offering, we can look at that now, no, we have to wait. Shield Angel, Midnight Vampire again, oof, Noble Fairy, got two Ultras and one go. The fact there's no music here though, it's kind of makes the makes this kind of like, uh, not as exciting as it could have been. Destroy an Allied Follower, restore X defense to your leader, and draw X cards, X equal to that follower's defense. Okay, interesting. So you kill a card to gain defense and draw, depending on how much defense it had. And you change the defense of all enemy followers to one if at least two other cards were played this turn. Oof. That's pretty good. Oof. First curse. Lilith. Blood Wolves. Spurned Witch, Healing Prayer, Sacred Plea, Runic Guardian, and Temple Defender. What is this first curse? Deal two damage to an enemy follower. Put a second curse in your hand. Second curse. Deal five damage to an enemy follower. Put a final curse into your hand. But it's not telling me what final curse is. Like, I was able to read related cards there, but I can't see what the next card is here. So we need second curse as well, and then final curse. Lilith's cute. The art, art style is completely different, because it's like full anime rather than like this like uh, artistic anime style, which is what the other cards are. Deal one damage to both leaders whenever she attacks. Demonic Strike, Courageous Knight, Pinion Prayer, Wandering Elf Mage, Demonic Strike, Secret Plea, Whirlwind Mage, and Temple Defender. Gluttonous Gorger, Woodland Refuge, Cursed Soldier, Palace Fencer, Blood Wolf, Commence Experiment, Death Sentence, and Scholarly Witch. What is... Commence experiments. Summon an Earth Essence. Earth Essence is... This is a Earth Sigil Amulet that can be used to activate Earth Right Effects, which we have no clue what that is. That's some sort of high-level stuff we don't know. Last words, destroy two random enemy followers. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, Demon Commander Laura? Barbaric Demon, Mass Butcher, Divine Armor, Bloodfed Flower Bed, Centaur Vanguard, Dungeon Crawl Fairy, and Waltzing Fairy. Demon Commander Laura. Give an allied follower Storm if Vengeance is active for you. Okay, so this goes in your blood deck. So you play her and someone else gets fanfare. That's good, and it doesn't cost a lot either, so you need to save this until you have Vengeance. Actually, see what her flavor text is. Stop dawdling and finish the job already. I expect victory to be all but assured before I step even one foot upon the battlefield, or have you forgotten? Now pulverize them this instant. How many more packs do we have? We're at 7 out of 10, it looks like. Fairy Champion, Crafty Warlock, Dungeon Coral Fairy, Dragon Cry, Guilty Courier, Secret Plea, Build Ringer Angel, and Elven Princess Mage. No ability, but if it evolves, it gets put two fairies in your hand that cost a zero. Which we've seen here before, I think. Well, these ones seem to right. Vampire Bard, Raging Giant, Master Alchemist, Demon Hand Assist, uh, Assassin, Shield Angel, Secret Plea again. We've got Pompous Princess, and Gilgamesh. Just the Gilgamesh from Legend. 
Fanfare, put a random one play point follower from your deck into play. That is okay, because we do have ones. We probably want to try to throw that into our deck then. Because we do have one costs. Gilgamesh. Storm and Storm, he just attack. Is it Gilgamesh's whole thing? He's like searching for immortality, so. Him just only having Storm is like weird. But maybe that's canonical, I don't know. Fanfare and last word, summon a force bat. Force bat? Free force bat. So it comes into play, have a bat. When he dies, have a bat. Skull Dragon, Rampage Giant, Embling Wraith, Arcane Enlightenment, Power of Protection, Alwita's Command, Alwita's Command, Fire Lizard, and Deadly Widow. So we get two golds out of that. Arcane Enlightenment, draw one, draw one more if it's spell boosted, and then you summon a pirate and a viking. Pirates has ward, and viking has storm. That's cool. They also have different art styles. That's a cool card. I don't think that's part of a deck that we're using though. Excess cards have been changed for rupees, of course. So nice. That was like a lot of good cards. I don't know if we should try to change the deck. I mean, we've already, we're already going for almost two hours. I might as well just do whatever little nonsense they want to do before we end the video. Okay, so. Showing us the only cards. Shouldn't this only be the card that we can actually use? Because we have purple on the top of these cards. Actually, purple? Maybe purple is blood? It's weird that purple cards are... Or the bloodcraft cards are purple. I guess they're not purple. These are red. I don't understand the color of the top, then. At the end of turn, deal one damage both. So I think that's okay. We gotta really thin this out, though. So get rid of that, because there's a lot of cards we need to get. Uh, one less of you. One less of you, even though we probably want that. We want two of her. She's really good, so we'll keep more of that. Alucard. The heal's nice, and the storm's nice. Let's get rid of you, even though that's like a big damage. The Temptress we've like never used. Deal 5 damage to an enemy, restore 5 damage to defense to you. Eh. So we're down to 6, so we can add the flower bed. Which synergizes with the set. Lilith we want, because Lilith can hurt them and us. To cause us to get to vengeance faster. Demon Hand Assassin. Gain Drain if Vengeance is active. Okay, interesting. Midnight Vampire Boys give plus one plus one to bats, which we would like, but we don't really have too much bat stuff, even though I would love a bat deck. Do one damage to an enemy follower if Vengeance is activated, so just one damage if you have that going. This we needed to add, though. No if ands, or buts about that. This is deal three damage to an enemy without having to hurt yourself. We're out of room though now. And two of vengeance is up. Deal two to your leader when you strike with him. Ward. Deal three damage to all other allied followers when you summon him. Is there a five cost that we can trade him for other than those? I guess we could lose one of her even though she's like, she comes in clutch. Vampire Bard's nice, but... Gain Drain, if Vengeance is up. Drain on a 4-4, four, four. it's not too bad. You, discard your hand, gain no, we want you. Gain 1 and Ward, if Vengeance is up, that's not really that crazy. Deal 3 damage to all allies and enemies, to start Demonic Storm's cool. This is, what, 3 to everything? Gilgamesh can be put in here because he's neutral, I'm guessing. I actually like this as like a clear, like a one clear, but I think I'm like spreading the deck out too much. You have three of her. 
But she's like, like, we almost like never use this card. So we can add one storm in. I did not see that lolly in here, so I'm assuming that means we can't use it with this deck. The one that summons a free one from your deck, I think. Yeah, she didn't show up here, so must not be able to put that in a Bloodcraft deck. Okay, I think we're good with that. I rename this to just Bloodcraft because it's not basic anymore. So, oof, almost two hours, which is a bit rough. It's gonna take me, like, a couple centuries to save this video. So, guys, so thanks for watching. Remember to buy my stickers or go to my coffee or just watch these videos all the way through because I'm working on watch time and subscribers. But, yeah, again, I will... I'm still playing Terraria. I'm going to uh, play Pokemon Scarlet eventually and also Smite Unite and plus any other random stuff I want to play. But obviously we're going to be playing more of this because I am enjoying this. I don't know if I will pay for the eShop version, the 20, spend the 20 bucks to just own the game. Because I, again, I'm renting this via Gamefly, so I will have to send it back eventually. Unless I just buy the game on the eShop, then I can just send the game back and just keep it forever. But, yeah, so thanks for watching. Tune in to the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment, you have to do. See ya.